Good evening. <clears throat> I notice a lot of people on uh, on these uh, sites, they don't really read your Bible. They tell you what the Bible says or tell you they know what it says and all. Why are they scared to read it to you? Very strange. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith and charity and patience. The aged women likewise. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine. Teachers of good things. That they may teach the young women to be sober to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded, in all things showing themselves a pattern of good works and doctrine showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. I ain't got to come on here and tell you, 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 you can read it, read it over and over. God to show you, but this is what it says. They don't want to tell you these things. Everything the Bible says nowadays, nobody wants to hear it. So when men tell you, when they read you the Bible and actually show you, most people don't want to do it. I read the Bible all the time, folks, and I'm telling you, most people say, well, I'm not doing that. Well, I don't believe in that. Well, I don't want to serve a God like that. But don't ever think that these guys on here jibber-jabbering and telling you how godly they are and how much they know. Don't ever think for one minute they ain't trying to get a dollar from you. Don't ever think for one minute they ain't just trying to get fame and glory. I ain't going to be famous telling you the truth, reading you truth. But the ones who hear are the ones who God will grab. And those are the ones we're after. I can't, I can't, I can't bring everybody to Christ. It's not my place. I read you Bible. Christ brings you to him. But not everybody's going to hear me, and I understand that. But remember this. These guys that spewing, they're spewing off at the mouth. And one day you're going to read the Bible and you're going to be like, wait a minute. And you're going to read all that stuff because you're going to get fluent too. And then you're going to realize, well, I'm fluent in the Bible now. It don't say that. It doesn't actually mean that. But they want to pervert you. That's why they change the Bible on you. That's why they give you the modern version to explain what they want you to know. Look, I don't care who agrees with me or who don't. I'm going to keep reading Bible. And I ain't going to do much of this. So be lucky you got this much out of me to talking. We want to read your Bible so you hear it for yourself. So these false prophets can't give you no more trash. God.